Glorify God with all your wealth. Honor Him with your very best, with every increase that comes to you. Then every dimension of your life will overflow with blessings from an uncontainable source of inner joy. Here's the Father again. My child. When the Lord speaks to you, never take His words lightly. And never be upset when he corrects you. For the father, dis the father's discipline comes only from his passionate love and pleasure for you. Even when it seems like his correction is harsh, it's still better than any father on earth gives to his child. Those who find true wisdom obtain the tools for understanding the proper way to live. For they will have a fountain of blessing pouring into their lives. To gain the riches of wisdom is far greater than gaining the wealth of the world. As wisdom increases, a great treasure is imparted. Greater than many bars of refined gold. It is a more valuable commodity than gold and gemstones. For there is nothing you desire that can compare to wisdom. Wisdom extends to you long life in one hand and wealth and promotion in the other. Out of her mouth flows righteousness and her words release both law and mercy. The ways of wisdom are sweet, always drawing you into the place of wholeness. Seeking for her brings the discovery of untold blessings. For she is the healing tree of life to those who taste her fruits. This morning, Father, Abba, we cry out for wisdom. You tell us in James that if anyone lacks wisdom, all we have to do is ask. And you love to give us more. So Lord, we're asking for more wisdom today. We're asking to wisdom. We're asking for wisdom to be able to work itself out in us the way that patient endurance is to work itself out in us. We know that you're a good, good father. We know that you're a good, good father. know that you're a good, good father. We're putting our trust in you. We're asking for wisdom and discernment today. We want to walk in the ways that you've instructed us. Bring to our mind, even this morning, the words you've spoken over us and the things that you've taught us so that they can be fresh in our mind. Thank you for the reward that you give us as your children. The reward of a long life, the reward of success, the reward of blessings overflowing, the reward of being able to handle any situation with grace. we belong to you, God. Everything we are is yours, Lord. Your more realness, the ground I'm standing on. Your more realness, the wind
pray for you to touch the lives of those that are overcoming this congestion stuff and cold or flu symptoms. We declare your divine healing and we proclaim it. We declare Roseburg as a health zone. I pray for creative miracles and miraculous signs and wonders to begin to break out through the obedient response of God's children to encounter people in our city strategically, intentionally, purposefully, that we would become incredible lovers, displaying your love to people, bringing a God encounter into the lives of those who are broken and hurting and need. Thank you, Lord, that you are enough for today. Your grace is sufficient. Your power is made perfect when we can't do it in our own. When we have weakness, we get to declare that we are strong in the Lord. So today and everything in it is yours, God, and we give it to you. We declare your faithfulness to us. We declare your goodness to us. We worship this place. Be lifted high and exalted.
good gifts from it. And we're loved by you. Thank you for your goodness. We bless your name. We bless your name. So there won't be a uh, service tonight. Normally we have a dwell service on Friday night, but because of how many people are battling illness and things, um, we're going to have everybody just rest. Um, but we're going to chart Sunday morning by a uh, herd of rhinoceroses, which is called a, called a crash. That's why I like it. Because rhinoceros, they can't see more than 30 feet in front of them, and yet they can run 30 miles an hour. So when a rhino is literally running, they're literally running blind. That's why they're called a crash. No, it's serious. There's actually in in uh, in the in the movie The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, in the war, the battle scene at the end, when it feels like the enemy is winning, you'll notice that the first animal that comes charging down the the uh, the ravine is a rhino and bursts through. The, the front lines there and brings victory. So I, I have a, a great uh, adoration for rhinos. <laughs> but we will meet Sunday morning here at 10 a.m. and uh, worship the Lord in Dalton. And, uh, but let's stretch our hands out and bless each other today. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord smile down on you and show you his kindness. May the Lord answer your prayers and give you his peace. May the Lord cover you with his name. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Let's have a blessed day, guys.